This is Pan-African Channel. The outcome of the Just Ended Bridge Summit that held in Johannesburg, South Africa on 22nd to 24th of August is what we shall be discussing this day on your Pan-African Television Africa Media. We shall be uh, pleased to hear from you. Uh, tell us what you think about the Bridge Summit and as we'll be discussing the highlights with our guests. Don't forget that we shall give you the opportunity to uh, share your thoughts with us uh, in the course of the program. The lines will be open for you to call us and uh, tell us what you think. The program is equally being streamed live on Facebook. Leave us a comment. We shall have them right here on the program. Joining us this afternoon, it's um, Professor Anil Sokla. He is a South African ambassador at large for Asia and Breeds. Prof, it's a pleasure having you on Africa Media. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Big Ben. Always a pleasure. Thanks very much. And we'll be discussing the outcome of uh, the Just Ended Bridge Summit with you. And uh, one of the highlights we should note is the expansion of uh, the bloc. Tell us, according to Chinese President uh, Xi Jinping, he said membership expansion is historic. How historic is this expansion? Let's start with that. Well, it's the first expansion in 12 years. And as you are aware, last year, under China's presidency of BRICS, the leaders took a decision to start discussion on expansion and uh, also directed the Sherpas to develop the guiding principles, standard criteria and procedure for expansion. And uh, we were happy that we were able to complete the task given to Sherpas and make some recommendations. As you know, the BRICS summit uh, became defined in terms of the question of expansion. There was high levels of expectation. A large number of countries, 22 countries, had formally approached BRICS leaders to become full members of BRICS. And an equally large number of countries made informal inquiries about becoming part of the BRICS uh, family. Now, of course, uh, we had to have a process put in place. So Sherpas uh, completed the work and made recommendations to the foreign ministers. Foreign ministers met and forwarded their recommendations to the leaders. So the leaders met on the uh, first day of the three-day summit. That was on the uh, 22nd of, of August where they had a retreat session and applied themselves to the question of expansion. And as you know, BRICS is a consensus-based entity, so they had to get consensus on the number of countries that should be admitted uh, in this round of expansion and uh, which countries out of the 22. Eventually, it was agreed to admit six countries, uh, which is representative of the various regions of the global south in the world. We admitted Argentina as a fellow Latin American country joining uh, Brazil. Uh, from Africa, we admitted uh, Egypt from the North Africa region, and of course, Ethiopia uh, from uh, East Africa. And we also admitted three uh, countries from uh, uh, West Asia, namely Saudi Arabia, UAE, and Iran. So in total, we, uh, the leaders agreed to admit six countries. But as President Ramaphosa announced at the summit, that this is the first phase of expansion, it does not mean the door is closed. So for now, these six members will become full members of BRICS as of 1st of January 2024. And I think it's significant, uh, the spread of countries, all of the countries are significant role players in their respective regions. They, they are highly uh, active in terms of, of global issues uh, in their respective regions. And we believe that adding these six countries to the existing five would further amplify the presence and voice of Global South on the international stage in terms of championing issues of common concern to all of us.